Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amal, please subscribe. I join you today from my bed and that is because it's 7 a.m. And as you can see from the title of this video, Aisha is controlling my day. Aisha Harun, who probably a lot of you know, she's my dear friend, an amazing YouTuber. Please follow her if you haven't already. She will be controlling my day. She'll be controlling what time I get up. She'll be controlling what time I go to sleep, what I eat, how I work out, what I where you name it she's going to be controlling everything so the first instruction she gave me today was to wake up at 7 a.m which is a lot earlier than i usually wake up throughout the day she's going to be sending me little video instructions to tell me every step of the day so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. So it's gonna be really nice to not have to think about. She already sent me the first video instruction of the day. So let's watch it together. Let's play. Hi everyone, it's Aisha. I'm so excited to be doing this video with Amal today. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna be taking Amal on a little Aisha inspired adventure. And I feel like our routines are quite a bit different. So it'll be really interesting to have her do some of the things that I love to do on a daily basis. And I can't wait to put her up to the challenge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess I'm all get ready for today. <laughs> she seems that she has a plan for me already and I trust Aisha a lot. I know she gets so much work done in her day. Aisha just sent me the first mission of the day. Let's see what she said. Good morning, love. Hopefully waking up at 7 a.m. wasn't too difficult. I personally love waking up this early because I feel like it gets my day so productive. I end up doing so many different things and I can fit so much more when I wake up early. The first thing I love to do though, and for any of my followers that are watching this, you know that every morning I love to make my matcha. My morning matcha, I take a moment to just make it and have this whole therapeutic experience and I absolutely love it. So Amal, get your matcha out, get your little whisk out and make yourself a delicious iced matcha latte inspired by yours truly. And don't forget, to document it for your Instagram stories. Okay, so the first mission of the day, well, I guess technically second mission after waking up at seven is to make matcha. I know Aisha's matcha, I've had it, it's top tier. I don't know if I can make mine as good as hers or as like professionally, but I'm gonna try my best. This is not usually my morning routine. If you all do wanna see what I do in the mornings or really throughout my days, I'm gonna link my vlog playlist above. Let's go downstairs and make us a cup of matcha. To my kitchen we have all the ingredients for the matcha following aisha's day we gotta make her matcha like she makes her matcha so let's see if i can pull this off i doubt it but you know what i'm gonna try i don't have a whisk but i have a fork so i'm gonna just whisk it all together I just remembered that Aisha wants me to document this for my Instagram. So I think I'm gonna add this part to my Instagram story. So let me get my phone. I think I made a mistake. I think I made this wrong. It's like not green at all. It looks like I'm just drinking milk. I tried to add more matcha and it still just looks so not like matcha. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the kind of matcha I got. I think we have to call for backup already. I'm gonna call Aisha and see if she can help me save this matcha. Let's see if she can help us. Hi! Oh, good morning. Good morning. Listen, I didn't think I have to have to call you this quickly, but I already have an emergency. Oh no. So I tried to make the matcha like you do, but it's just not the same color as yours. It's still pretty green though. It, it is, but it's not like pretty like, wow, I'm drinking matcha green. It's like so light. I don't know what I did well, wrong. I think it's personally pretty, but it could be the matcha you use. There's like ceremonial grade and then um, culinary oh. grade. Culinary is usually a little bit lighter and then ceremonial is like a deep, like robust. Why are you a matcha tea expert? <laughs> like, you know, suddenly that was just in the 
cards for me. Yeah. You're gonna be an expert in matcha. <laughs> I think so, because all of a sudden I was like, it's not the right color scheme that I yeah. should use this. <laughs> okay, but it, but does it taste good? Okay, but I didn't taste test, so I'll taste test it with okay. you. I haven't. Okay, give it a mix it. first. Give it a mix. Okay, I did mix it. It keeps. Yeah, it keeps going to the bottom. I don't have a fa fancy whisk like yours, so I just use the oh, fork. No. <laughs> Okay, let's try. Let's try. Okay. Okay, it tastes a little more bitter. That okay. might be because I didn't add as much honey. Okay, probably, and you're probably getting a lot of the right. But as long as you say it's okay, it's okay for me. So you'll get the same effect. It looks great. Thank Cup you. We have the straw. Yes, yeah, that's all that matters. Thank you so much. I'm gonna probably call you soon because it's probably gonna be something else that I'm messing up. So talk to you soon. All right, bye. bye. So I'm enjoying my matcha, but before I get too comfortable, Aisha sent me another video with instructions on what to do next. So let me see that before I do anything else. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed your morning matcha. Hopefully you made it to your own as well. The next thing I love to do is go on a hike. I love to start my mornings on a hike before work. It gets my day so productive. Get your hiking shoes on, get in your car, drive to the nearest hiking trail, and enjoy your morning hike. Okay, next on the schedule is a hike. I'm gonna finish my matcha and then get my hiking shoes on like Aisha told me to do. to learn how to talk to a lady. Ask your mom. Update from the car. Ugh, I'm just being so lazy. I love going on hikes and working out, but never this early. I like just want to get back into bed with my matcha and just chill. But it's not up to me today. It's up to Aisha. And Aisha said I have to go on a hike, so we're going to go on a hike. Hopefully this hike wakes me up because I really need it. It starts over here and you're gonna go all the way up that mountain and then all the way down and then on to the beach. Okay, I just finished. Probably like the most challenging part of the hike. The rest of it isn't that bad. Oh, I'm already really sweaty, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. my hike yay that was nice that was not as bad as i thought it was gonna be still pretty early in the morning so it's not that hot so that's really good oh i'm so sweaty hike is done i'm gonna head home and then i'm gonna see if aisha has any other videos for me i'll see you when i get home hello everybody so i've took a shower got all freshened up and then i was gonna start getting ready for the day and then i remembered it's actually not up to me not up to me. I can't decide what I'm gonna wear because who gets to decide what I wear? Say it with me. Aisha does. So I actually forgot that I have to actually ask her what she wants me to wear. So I'm gonna call her now and then she's gonna tell me what outfit to wear and she's also gonna tell me what makeup look to wear. So yeah, it's all in her hands. So far, I'm really loving the day. And you know what I was thinking? I was like, today kind of feels like, you know when you're playing a video game and you have like a quest and you have to like go to the next thing. That's what it feels like. I'm like, I'm just a girl, no plan, live in by someone else's rules, which honestly, I kind of like better than making decisions. So I'm gonna call Aisha right now. Hi. Hello, what okay. do you have for me now? Okay, so <laughs> I forgot, I was gonna get start getting ready for the day and then I was like, no, it's not up to me. It's up to Aisha. Yes, it is. I yes, cannot is. decide what I'm gonna wear, you have to. So I have my closet here. No, it's not very big, but what do you have something, first of all, in mind that you want me to wear? I think I want to do something that I usually do. My go-to outfit is always like wide leg, lightweight wash jeans, some kind of like bodysuit, 
okay. like underneath and a blazer like a kind of like oversized blazer Ooh. I don't know if you have those items so I have this blazer Ooh, like I love that. this kind of it's like a light brown situation yeah so that's an option, I'll put that here. And then for my jeans, I have a few options, but like my go-to like wide leg jeans are like this one, light wash, and then it's pretty wide leg all the way to the bottom. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. And then I don't have a bodysuit, but I have like a white shirt. Okay, so I'm thinking for a hijab, we can do either a brown or Ooh, okay, let's do that brown. Okay, this brown hijab. Cute, yeah, I really like that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, and jewelry. Okay, cool. Like lay like layered necklaces. Exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. Layered necklaces, layered rings. Rings. And how do you want me to wear my hijab? So I usually do like a little tie, tie. over here. Oh, okay. The classic I Aisha style. Yeah, yes. that could be cute. So basically you just wrap it and then tie it like a shoelace and put the other side over. Ooh, okay, yeah. I love that. I will get in this and let you know. And what do you want me to do for my makeup? Like you usually do a very like natural look. Yes. So I would keep it like that. Honestly, I really like your look. Thank you. Oh my God, yeah, approval. I, uh, my look is Aisha approved, so. <laughs> it is, your skin always looks so glowy. I love the like glowy blush that you always use. Yeah. Easy, easy. I thought you were gonna be like, wear a crazy eye, which I would have done, because once again, it's up to you. But I'm, I'm so glad that we're doing that. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get into this look and then do my makeup and then I will send you pics. Yay! Yay. Okay, can't wait. Okay, bye. bye. I got ready and I changed into the outfit that Aisha chose. Let me show you right now. Sorry about the mess. I'm packing currently, but I have the white shirt, I have the blazer, I have the jeans that she asked, and I have this hijab. However, I am gonna wear it in the way that she told me to, but right now I'm gonna put on my makeup, so I'm going to change it after I put on my makeup. And yeah, that's the finished look. Here I'm putting on my makeup. Basically, I have like the tail end of my Maybelline matte poreless fit me. Literally, there's like nothing left. I actually have to buy some more. Okay, I put on a little bit of my Tarte concealer and then as I'm waiting for it to kind of set, I'm using my Precisely My Brow from Benefit in the color six. The next thing I do is I add, it's really, really dirty, but I add the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. Almost done, I have my blush on. And then again, really gross and dirty, but it's the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And I just take a little bit of the highlight and I just dab it right on top of my blush. And this is the finished look. I put on the hijab, like Aisha said, part in the front, a little bit in the back, and my makeup is how I usually do it, pretty light with a little bit of blush, light on the eyes, brows, and some clear gloss. So this is the Aisha approved look. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done and then I'm gonna check in with you because I'm getting a little hungry soon and I think I wanna see what Aisha has planned for me for lunch. Okay, it's a little bit later now. I've gotten some work done and I'm a little bit hungry for lunch. I'm not gonna lie. So I think Aisha just sent me another message about what I'm gonna do for lunch. So I really hope it's something good. Hey girl, I know you've been productive all morning. You're probably working up an appetite. So I prepared a little special treat for you. I know. How how you feel about tender greens but me personally it's like my favorite healthy little shop to go to so I have a little something waiting for you at tender greens so hop in your car get over there it's a surprise but it is one of my favorite meals there so I hope you enjoy it let me know how you like it a surprise wow okay um was not expecting this that's so sweet oh my god okay so few things first of all 
She said she knows how she feel, I feel about tender greens because tender greens is not my favorite. I have to be honest. I don't really think I get the best things from there, but Aisha loves tender greens. She gets it like at least once a week. So I know it's her favorite. I'm torn because I'm so happy and so touched that she bought me lunch to pick up. And I'm also really curious to see what it is because honestly, it's not really my go-to, but I trust her, so I know it's gonna be good. Okay, so I guess it's time to go pick up my lunch. Okay, so I'm home. I have the food. I have the goods. As you can see, my order Aisha placed for me is here. Anyway, it's really funny because they like put my name so big, like marker with marker on the front. I'm all down more. So I got the food here and then she also ordered me this drink and it looks like it's yellow. So I'm guessing it's lemonade and there's like stuff floating in it. I don't know if you can see, but I'm starving. So I cannot wait to eat this. So my beef with tender greens is that they just, like their food is good but it just like it's just okay like it's like you, you're really hungry you, you have high expectations and they just like barely deliver but i think that's also because of what i get i think i just kind of have gotten like bland things in the past so it could have been that as well i'm always open for a redemption story though so let's see what aisha ordered for me I'm so excited as you can see here okay there seems to be something that comes in this thing mashed potatoes okay love that love that and then we have oh it's salmon there's like a salmon here with a piece of bread love that and there's lettuce with some dressing okay pretty simple can't go wrong meal first and foremost try this lemonade i think it's lemonade or some type of like fruity drink because it looks really good <gasps> Oh, that is good. It's mint lemonade. Wow, that is so refreshing. Mmm. Okay, this is an early fave. I'm really interested in trying some of the salmon though. So we have the salmon here. Looks really good. It's like a ranchy dressing. I'm just gonna put that on some of the lettuce. Okay, let me try some of the salmon. Oh, that is really fresh. Mmm, I love that. Yeah, that's really good. That's like a really good piece of fish. Okay, let me go for the mashed potatoes. They're so, they're like, I feel this is like a double portion of mashed potatoes. Oh, that's really good. Very simple. I can tell why she orders this a lot because it's like very simple. It pairs really well together and it's something you can really just have every day. The bread is really good, surprisingly, so. Okay, so I'm really not mad at this lunch. It's really good. I feel like it's one of those things that's simple enough for anybody to really like and filling enough for to give you energy throughout your day because I feel like as soon as I eat this, like I'll be good for a while and I'll, I'll, I won't feel like I wanna crash. So I think my favorite so far is this lemonade. I just was not expecting to like it that much. I'm gonna finish my lunch. And as I'm finishing my lunch, I'm going to be watching Love Island. Let me know in the comments right now. Are you watching Love Island? Let me know. Let me know which who you're rooting for. It's stressful right now. Today's an elimination day. So I'm gonna watch that and then I'm gonna get to work. So I'll see you when I'm done. Hey everybody, so sorry for this lighting. I feel like my kitchen has the worst lighting, but it's a little bit later now and it's time for dinner. As soon as I started feeling hungry, what did I get? A message from Aisha. So let's see what she says. So for dinner, I thought I would give you quite an easy thing to make, but honestly, it tastes so good. It's one of my go-to recipes. I always have this in the freezer, but it includes Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. So I sent you your grocery list. Be sure to pick out every item on that list and come back and make the recipe. Hopefully you enjoy so, it. Okay, well, I love Trader Joe's gnocchi, the cauliflower gnocchi. It's one of my favorite things at Trader Joe's. So I'm so excited to try that. Let's take a little trip to Trader Joe's and see if we can find all the ingredients. See you at Trader Joe's. Okay, so I just pulled up to Trader Joe's per Aisha's 
instruction. She gave me a pretty detailed rest or ingredient list, I should say, for dinner. I still kind of don't know exactly what the dish is. I can obviously kind of maybe insinuate from the ingredients list, but we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. We're gonna trust Aisha and we're gonna have a great dinner. Let's go. back from Trader Joe's, I have all the groceries. The first thing she has on the instructions is to pop the gnocchi in the air fryer for 15 minutes. So let me do that really quick and then read what the rest of the recipe says. my jacket because it was getting a little hot in here but reading the rest of the instructions that Aisha gave me they don't look super complicated which I love she said in a medium saucepan melt some of the butter on medium heat and add a handful of the sliced mushroom seasoned with salt lemon pepper and garlic powder and then she also said to add some veggie broth saute until brown and soften and add butter as needed then she said squeeze juice of half a lemon over the mushrooms and add a handful of the baby spinach to the pan mix until wilted and add lemon if you'd like once the gnocchi is done add into the pan and then take off the heat Hey, finally dinner is served. So I have my dinner here as you can tell. It smells so good and honestly it took me like less than 20 minutes to make so I'm already loving it. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow, that is so flavorful. The mushrooms really add like a like a meatiness to it like a really good texture balance between the cauliflower uh nochi gnocchi i swear i think i pronounced that like 10 different ways throughout this video so sorry in advance for that <laughs> if aisha eats this good every night no wonder she's like a superwoman and can do as much as she can during the day i wonder if she like made this recipe i should ask her let me call her Hey! You look so cute! Oh, thank you! I'm gonna send you the selfie that I took of, for this yes. outfit. But I want to show you my dinner. Oh my god, let me see. <gasps> Wait, is it good? Do you like it? Yes, it's so good. It's so flavorful. Yay. I know, right? It's like, the, there's such few ingredients, but it's yes. so flavorful. Yeah, it's literally one of my go-to things to make. And it's so fast, like literally, I was just saying that it took me like less than 20 minutes. Yep. But it's like That's gourmet. Exactly, like literally gourmet. Like if you just add like chicken or shrimp or whatever, like it's yes, perfect. Like you can really serve this at like a like a dinner party, and it, it's mm -hmm. like wow, you like were working on this dish for hours. Literally, yeah, it's like my go-to when I just need like a quick meal that just tastes bomb. Yeah, I was just saying like if Aisha eats this good every day, no wonder she can <laughs> do all the things she can do during the day because this is so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad it worked out. Yes. If there's one thing that I don't want to like let people be disappointed by, it's food. So, what so far, today. 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm going to finish my dinner and then I'll check okay. with you later. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, as you can probably tell, I am crashing. It's like not even 10 p.m. yet and I'm like, we need to go to sleep. But Aisha did send me another video, so let's see what she says. Hopefully it has something to do with like winding down and getting ready for bed because I don't know if I have any more energy to do anything, but let's see what she says. This is my personal favorite time of day and it is when we get to take up all, take off all our makeup put on our skincare. I'm not sure about your skincare routine, Amal, but mine is a little bit long and I like to call it self-care. So I'm challenging you to do a skincare routine that is minimum 15 minutes, minimum six steps, 
ideally seven to ten, but I'll, I'll give you six, that's fine. Um, and I will give you a little list of what to include, but definitely sit there and do a little padding technique, give yourself a little lymphatic, lymphatic drainage massage, just enjoy it. Okay, so as I expected, Aisha, self-care queen, has instructed me to have a minimum 15 minute skincare routine. I think I have I don't know if it's 15 minutes, but I think mine is about that long when I actually take the time. Tonight was going to be one of those nights where I kind of rushed through it, but you know what? Skincare is important and I'm not controlling my day. Aisha is, and she said 15 minutes, so I'm going to give her a good 15 minute routine. You know what? We're going to go wild. Okay, let's head to the bathroom. Welcome to my kitchen. Not my kitchen. <laughs> my god that's how tired i am welcome to my bathroom i just said that i have to have a at least 15 minute long skincare routine i think i am gonna have one just in case though i'm gonna like add some extra steps just to really pump up the skincare element so first i'm gonna brush my teeth i know it's not a part of skincare but it is a part of just self-care so i'm gonna start brushing my teeth the next thing I go in with is, an, is a cleansing oil. This one is from Innisfree. It's a green tea cleansing oil. I've talked about this oil before. It's a miracle. I love it. It's just everything you have on, doesn't matter like what it is, it just melts off. I'm gonna spend some of the 15 minutes on this because the more time you cleanse, the better your other skincare applies. Really relax and just make sure to get every part of your face. Okay, I just washed the oil cleanser off. My face is still a little wet. Now I'm gonna go in with my second cleanser. I've been using the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser and like honestly, I love this. Okay, so just wash the cleansers off. Next thing I do is go in with a toner. One of my favorite, favorite toners is the Ula Hendrickson Glow to O Dark Spot Toner. I've talked about this toner before. It's amazing, really good if you have discoloration, dark spot. So I take a handful and I just, I really just go with my hands. Next, I'm gonna go with an essence. This is the CoStarX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Essences, usually you go in with after your toner. This is so slimy because it's snail mucin. Don't think too hard about it, just uh, believe me when I say it's really good. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream i recently started using this brand i heard a lot of good things about it it's ahc essential real eye cream for face i know it sounds confusing but apparently it's an eye cream but you can also use it for your face and a lot of people swear by it super amazing really hydrating and i have to say that i have to agree Next, I'm gonna go with this serum. This is from one of my favorite, newer favorite brands. It's from Notorium. This is the Mandelic Topical Acid, up 12%. Next, we're gonna go in with our moisturizer. The moisturizer I love, super basic, super simple. CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Love this moisturizer. It's for face and body. Just so incredibly hydrating. Next, we're gonna go in with a little oil. I don't usually use oil often, but tonight I'm gonna give myself a little facial massage, so I'm like, why not? Let's go with our oil. I'm gonna go in with the plant-derived squalene. I really love squalene. I think it's such a good oil. It's very light, it's not super, super heavy. Then I'm gonna go in with my jade roller. Grande Lash. I got this from Sephora and it like really has helped grow my eyelashes. I have seen a huge difference. And voila, that's my skincare routine. I think it was 15 minutes. I didn't time it, but in case Aisha asks, let's just say it was 15 minutes because I do feel 
really rejuvenated. I didn't rush. I even added steps that I don't do every night. So I think that's good enough. I know that Aisha is a skincare queen. So I hope, hopefully she approves this. Okay, so let's start getting ready to go to bed. Okay, so I look very, very oily, very glazed. And I just got my final message from Aisha. I really hope she's gonna say, just go to sleep because that's what I'm feeling like right now. But once again, let's see what she has to say. My day usually ends around 10.30 to 11 p.m. So I'm all crawl into bed around that time, get off your phone, maybe pull out a book, or just like sit in your thoughts, journal, and go to bed early so that we can wake up again at 7 a.m., right? <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's about 10.45 right now. So that's perfect for the time that Aisha said to go to sleep. I think I'm gonna read my Kindle for a while. I have recently been reading Brene Brown, Daring Greatly. I think that it's such an amazing book and truly has been something that I've been reading and learning so much from. I will leave a link below. If you also wanna buy Kindle, Kindles are honestly life-changing devices for me. Like I read everything on my Kindle, a device you can really take anywhere. So I'll leave a link below if you want to read it. Hey everyone, so it's the next day and I just wanted to close out this video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a fun experiment. Honestly, I knew it was going to be fun because I know that Aisha has like the most productive, amazing day. So I'm glad that I got to pretend to be like her for a day. Please make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So it would really mean a lot to me if you would. Also, I have some good news for you. We filmed a really fun video over on Aisha's channel. We cook, we get a little personal, we answer some questions. Please, if you wanna see that, head over to Aisha's channel. Also, please follow me on Instagram if you wanna see more of my day-to-day -day posts. Thank you so much to Aisha. Thank you, thank you so much for all of you for watching. I really appreciate you. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.